guys starting out with Way Over Recipes. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it with others, join as a member. But today, we're going to do some frozen French bread pizzas in the Ninja Foodie 2 basket air fryer and see how quick it can cook those up right now. Alright, so I've got myself two frozen French bread pizzas here and what I'm going to do, I'm going to open them up, put one in each side of the two basket air fryer. So we'll be doing like a match cook, doing two sides on the same setting to see how they turn out. So I'm going to get that one in there like so. Close that up. And get this one in on this side. Whoops. <laughs> Good thing my counter is clean. Let's get this on in here. Alright, got that in there. Now let's turn the Ninja Foodi 2 basket air fryer on. Going to try it with air fry for this up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. For time, I'm going to try 7 minutes and see what we get. If we need longer, we'll use longer. But we're going to go ahead and hit start with that. And I'll bring you back in just about 7 minutes. Alright, just 4 minutes have passed, but things are smelling crispy in there. So, I'm going to stop it after just 4 minutes of running and just see what's going on in there. And so, with that hit pause. So, we still need to go some more. So I'm going to hit start again. You see the other, whoa, we only did one side. That's what happened. We only did one side, so we saw, <laughs> I mistakenly didn't hit the match cook button. And so in four minutes, I got a done French bread pizza while the other side was just kind of hanging out. So going in with the probe, it's still frozen inside, but it's, it's been a cooking away. So this is going to be an interesting little little test to pull off now because we got three minutes left on this side and it might be done but on the other side I neglected to start and so on this side I'm going to go up well I'm going to do air fry and I'm going to do the 400 and I'm going to try let's go down to about seven minutes on this side and we'll just basically start both sides up we'll let this one finish see what happens with it and then the other side, we'll see if it's done in seven minutes too. So we had a little bit of a small error there, but we're going to keep going with this and see where we end up. All right, so this one that's cooking for seven minutes that started first is almost done. So I'm going to check it again for temperature. And we'll see how it's looking in there. So it's going to do its cool down thing, but you see that thing is done seven minutes. And I got my thermopin in there. It's pretty, you know, I'm trying to, in the bread. It's like the 150s are way up there. It's in the 160. It's kind of like depends on where you poke in the bread, what you get. But it's done. It's looking done. It's testing, you know, pretty well done. So I'm going to call it done and set that on over there. We'll let this one continue and let that one just kind of cool out. So now this side's coming down in the last 10 seconds. I will say this one being able to run by itself initially probably got a little more focused heat than when I started doing two together. But that one looks good. Let's take a the thermopin and test temperature. We're up in the one, we're in the night 100 range. It's not super hot in there. I mean the, the cheese is kind of melty. But this one having to run with the other one on the other side running didn't get quite as much um, quite as much focused heat. I found when you have just one side running things run and cook a lot faster than if you have both sides running. When you have both sides running you need a little more time. So from this we learn you can do one side in seven minutes and be done and it turn out just fine. But if you're going to do two you probably want to do probably, I'm going to try nine minutes and I'm just going to rinse down my camera pin here while I'm talking to you. But you want to do something closer to nine minutes because that's going to give you a couple more minutes of them to be able to get heat if you're doing two at the same time. When you're doing, and now I'm just kind of doing one with two minutes so it's really even getting the, 
its own focused heat at this moment. So we might even check it after maybe 90 seconds. I'm not even going to give it a full two minutes because I know it's getting that focus heat with just one side running. But in seven minutes, I wanted to point something out. In seven minutes, this one cooking up pretty much by itself, even though the last two it was kind of running, or last three minutes was running with this one going too. That's about on par with the Philips air fryer, Avant's line of uh, air fryer. It can do a frozen French bread pizza in about seven minutes, and so so can this. Maybe even a little faster. And this one's starting to smell a little uh, done from what I can smell now. So, you know, maybe six to seven minutes with one. If you're doing two, do somewhere between eight, nine minutes maybe. Let's say nine minutes. I'm thinking about nine minutes if you're doing two. So, going to, I'm going to stop this with just 90 more seconds going. And yeah, good thing we stopped. Inside here, it's, well, it's going up. It's like, you'll, and then there, it's like in the 150s. I don't think we can go any further. I think we're going to have to be good with what we have. And so I just want to rinse that melty cheese off of my thermo pen before it kind of hardens there. But I think we're, I think we're done. I don't think we can go any further. And we'll have uh, a video of burnt French bread pizzas. So here you go, how they look. Somewhere between seven, not even nine minutes, maybe nine. If you're doing two, you can knock out your French bread pizzas. But I'll take this one and do a taste test of it. All right, let's taste test this French bread pizza here. So, here we go. Okay, so it's got a fair crunch on the bottom, fair crunch. Turned out good, you know, just seven minutes or so. You know, maybe six, seven minutes if you're only doing one. Maybe eight, nine minutes if you're doing two. You kind of, you know, play around with that a little bit. But still, knocks them out fast. And that's what we want. And so with that, you know, I hope that you did like this video. And that you, as I mentioned earlier, give it a thumbs up. Also in the video description, you can find, like, I'll have links to the printable version of these instructions. Also, you'll be able to see other ways to help this channel, referral links and such. And you can always find recipes on my blog at superwaveovenrecipes.com. And with that, I wish you and yours good eating.